Welcome back to Survival 101. Today we'll be talking about my survival knife that I bought a couple weeks ago. So let's get to it. So, the first main thing I like about this knife, and I think everybody does, is the knife itself. Razor sharp, and I can prove that to you by like, getting a piece of paper. Like that. And you start right through it. Razor sharp. And you, and I, I've been, been cutting ropes in this a lot. That's the main thing here. Now the second, the other thing is, of course, it's a pen knife. Pen knife with a grooving thing on it. See right here. The camera the focus would be nice. Really sensitive camera that I got here. There, there's a grooving thing right here. There we go. So we can do your nails or sand something down. That'll be perfect for the job. Another thing is what we got here would be the sorry would be the can opener and bottle opener that mostly every knife has. Here's the can and the bottle opener. And it's really easy to tell if it's a bottle opener or a can, op a can opener. This is a bottle opener because the can opener has a sharp tip. So it can cut through the s aluminum and work itself around. Pop it open, eat your food, whatever it is. And then close it back up. Just like that. Can opener is right here. And the can opener, as you can see, has a pointy edge. So it can get in there and work yourself around it. And it's sharp at the end. So you can cut the can. The next thing is that we got here are the the double double slice saw. Right here every modern Swiss Army knife has this now. There's double teeth like a shark. And so what this does is there's double saw. It's like a two saw in one. Let's see it from there. So that's one, one of the other things. Right there. The next thing that we got here are the scissors, I believe. Yes. The scissors are good because usually the handles, the handles right here, these handles are made out of plastic, but this one's steel or what? Steel. And that's good. That's what you want to see on a knife. It's not going to last you longer. So those are the main components right there. On the back, we have our typical puncturing thing. So if, if, you, have a, if you have a belt, and make another another hole in it for your, for your hook to go in. This is good. To, it, it, it makes holes in cloth. It's nice. And this cost, this knife costs about $60. Not much, but, uh, and your, um, screwdriver right there. Open up for you. Right there. And there's your screwdriver right there. And, uh, of course, every knife has it now. A toothpick and tweezers. I don't need to pull those out. So, this is my knife, my Swiss Army knife. I got all older ones, but I'll just make a review on this one right here. As rubber on the side for a good grip. And that's thing, so you can hang off of Everyone has a keychain, whatever you need to put on it. Um, the the red stuff is plastic, but it's, it's that's alright. Because I, I don't like metal that much. It gives it more weight. Plastic strong. Th this kind of plastic is strong enough as the other as the other metal that they use, so that doesn't bother me at all. This ain't gonna. This ain't not the complicated one. These are is the basic knife, and you don't need like a bigger knife. This is a fine knife, a really good knife. So, talk to you guys later. Bye.